Hey everybody, Mark Agnesi here in the back room of Norman Trigger Guitars. Welcome back. <laughs> it's the final guitar of the day for the week. Thank God. Long week. Everybody here is sick. Are you sick yet, Jen? No, I'm hoping not I'm not. Not, <laughs> not yet. yet. You know. <laughs> Ugh, just dragging. But it's almost done here. We got a couple birthday shout outs. Uh, happy 55th birthday, Paul Georgia. I remember Paul. Paul bought us donuts one time when yes. he was in the store. That was rad. Thanks, homie. Thanks for watching. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Oh, who else we got? Uh, happy 39th birthday to uh, Wayne Fox. Tomorrow, actually. But uh, we don't do the show tomorrow. His uh, wife, Heather, wanted to make sure we got that in there today. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Thanks for watching. We're over there on the East Coast. And we got got uh, happy birthday, Jax Everidge, like beverage without the B. <laughs> I like that. Quebec without a C. <laughs> the Queeby Sisters. Have you ever seen that video? It's Norm's favorite freaking video that you we've ever done. You gotta check it out. Here. The Queeby <laughs> Sisters, or the Queebs, as we call them. We They're amazing. They're actually queebs. pretty good. Hey, Jen, put on that, uh, put on the, uh, the Queeby Sisters thing. Really happy uh, happy birthday, Jack Savage. Doesn't say how old you are or anything, but thanks for watching, man. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, homie. It's been quite a week. Raining here in LA again. I got a guitar. We're 700 and however hell episodes we've done, and we've never had one of these. What? It still happens from time to time. It's weird. You guys are probably going to like it. There's a lot to talk about. Come on back. Check it out. Road case. This is from 1979. This is an original Gibson Les Paul artist model. Original sunburst finish with Moog Electronics. With what? <laughs> Moog Electronics. I don't know what that is. Bob Moog? Moog synthesizers? What the hell do you listen to all day? You just listen to Beyonce all day. You're not paying mm, attention anymore. Rihanna too. With the original Oh, thank God. With the original manual that shows you how to work all this crap. That's nice. And uh, the original warranty card as well. Yeah, we got a lot to talk about. It's really so, pretty. This was late 70s. This is the brass age, man. This is when everything was brass <coughs> for everybody. Brass nut, brass studs, brass truss rod cover. But it's basically kind of like a mahogany top Les Paul Custom. Is that mahogany? Oh, who the hell knows? Um, that's mahogany. That's a maple top still. Ebony board like a custom. What's unique are the Moog Electronics. Let's talk about them, shall we? Yeah, all of this is stock. We have a master volume. Fair enough. Now, you need to zoom in on these knobs. Notice these knobs go to five and five with a zero in the middle. Both of these do. You won't notice because you're not holding it, but there's like a little notch right here where they'll zero out. That's like unity gain. This is your bass control. This is your treble control. So you're at zero, which means you're just right up the middle. You can now boost the bass frequencies or cut the bass frequencies, or you can boost the treble frequencies or cut the treble frequencies, or you can zero it out, like I said, and go back to that kind of unity gain. You dig? Okay, moving on. The dip switches. <laughs> the one the, the, the one thing about this guitar that's kind of funny, they say you're only uh, one switch away from complete and total chaos. Because you can hit one of these things and just the whole world could end. You gotta be really careful. This is the bright switch. They're not effing around. It's really bright. You don't want to flick that on when you have the treble boosted in the bass cut. You know what I mean, homie? Oh, Hank, that's bright. Um, so that's the bright switch. The expander, which I would assume expands. I don't know what the hell it does. Uh, this one is the compressor. So you got a built-in compressor on board, an expander on board, and a treble boost on board, which is all done through a nine volt battery um, that powers all that active circuitry. Or if you leave it all down and just play with the volume, it's just like a regular Les Paul Custom. I know. Wait, how many songs are you playing up there? Three. Okay. We're going to do three. I'll show you what all the bells and whistles do. And we'll all go, ooh, ah, and then I'll just play some songs. And we'll call it a week. I'm going to go home and take NyQuil uh, and uh, pass out. Deal? Deal. Deal. Let's do it. Let's go to the couch, plug this thing in, see what we can do.
Thank you. All right, we're out front. We have the 1979 Gibson Les Paul Artist original sunburst finish with the Moog Electronics. Let's just hear what some of this stuff does really quick. Um, we have a bass boost, bass cut, treble boost, treble cut. Now we have the bright switch. We'll just go on the uh, regular guitar with the pickup right now. Let's start up on that neck pickup all by itself. See what this thing can do. position. We got both pickups working together here. See what we got going down there. Wide freaking open all by itself. See what we can do down there. <laughs> from 1979 original Gibson Les Paul artist model sunburst finish Moog electronics ebony fingerboard original owner's manual original warranty card freaking road case man there's the final guitar of the day for the week make sure you check out the store on Instagram at, at Norman's Rare Guitars 
Check the guitars out online at normansrareguitars.com. Make sure you submit your set list to Jen for the week, and we'll be uh, giving away some more free merch on Tuesday. You guys have a great weekend. We'll see you back here again next week for another brand new week of Guitar of the Day. Peace. Bye. Moog. <laughs>